Hey users, welcome to today's quick tip. We've been showing some Iron Python, but maybe sometimes you want Iron Python scripts to run right when you open a dashboard. So today's quick tip, I'm gonna show how to do that. Now recently I showed how to do a top five rule in a dashboard to get the top five values in a visualization. Uh, you can also do a detail rule, and all of this was, uh, was controlled using Iron Python. Now the purpose of this was that the detail shows a lot of information, but the top five shows just a high level for initial insights. And um, let's say you had a user that had left this on detail, and you wanna make sure that anytime a new user comes in or the user returns to the dashboard that the top five default was always shown. Essentially, you wanna make sure that the Iron Python script behind this button runs anytime the dashboard is opened. So there's a little trick you can do in Spotfire, and you're gonna do that through a document property and a data function. So first I'm gonna to go to File and Document Properties, and when I go to the Properties tab, I've created this last updated document property. So what you wanna do is just create some document property where you could call, for instance, I'll say current time, and I'll make this a date time value, a date time uh, data type, and I need to give it something initial. So I'll put in 819, 2019, and I'll say uh, 2 p.m. So this will give it an initial value right here and when I want this to, uh, when, when this changes, I want this to run an action control script. I want this to run an Iron Python script. So I just hit script here, and each time the property value changes, I'm gonna say execute this script. And I'm gonna say show top five, apply it to this visualization, current pressure by well. So I'll select that. So and anytime this changes, the top five script will run. So how do I make this change whenever the dashboard opens? So I can go to data and data function properties, and I'm gonna actually use tear here to change a document property. So here I've created a script called run iron python, and in the edit script, I just have a very simple uh, system time and assign that to an output value. And for my output parameters, I've created a parameter with the type value. So you hit add to create that parameter and make it the type value. Then in my parameters, I'm gonna edit this and for output, I'm gonna take this output parameter and assign it to the document property. So here I'll assign it to current time and I'll hit okay. Uh, so, um, and then one other thing, sorry, that I wanna do is make sure that this box is checked to re refresh button, refresh function automatically. So I'll hit okay here and I'll close this, and let me just go back to my document properties, and let's delete the, uh, the old one that I had sent, the last updated, just to make this uh, really clean here. So what's gonna happen is every time this dashboard opens, it's gonna refresh that data function, it's gonna write the current date and time here, and that's gonna change the property value, and that's gonna trigger the script, which I, the Iron Python script I wanna run. So to test this out, I'm gonna hit detail here, and I'm gonna save this, so now this is gonna be saved with just all of the values here, and I'm gonna rerun, I'm gonna reopen the dashboard. Okay, so now I'm reopening the dashboard. It's loading up, it's getting all my uh, streaming data and all my data sources in. And in the background, it's gonna run. And there we go. So now you can see that this was initially showing all the detail, but as this is loading, it recognized that the document property changed and it applied the rule that's triggered by the Iron Python and show this as top five. And just to show you this, I'll go into document properties. I'll go to properties here. It's 6.46 p.m. here right now. And uh, I, this, this is now the, the current time and that was used to trigger the, the Iron Python script. So that's it for today's quick tip. There's many scenarios where you might wanna trigger Iron Python this way on dashboard loading. I hope this helps you and join us next time. Thanks.